Tonight you're going to see a little scene from that movie, or from that play, and uh, it's going to star Matthew Martin and Olivia O'Connell. So here it is, Awe About Eve. thought of gravity by getting hit on the head with an apple. And the man who invented the steam engine, he was looking at a tea kettle, but not me. Oh no, I came up with my big idea, just sitting on a couch. That boot in the rear to Margot. Heaven knows she had it coming. From me, from Eve, from Bill, from Lloyd, Max, and so on. And we'd all felt those size 13s of hers often enough. <laughs> But how? The answer was buzzing around me like a fly. Oh, I had it. But I let it go. I mean, screaming and name calling is one thing, but this would mean. But why not? Why, I said to myself, not? It would all seem perfectly legitimate, and only two people in the world would know, and that boot would land exactly where it would do the most good for all concerned. And after all, it was no more than a harmless joke that even Margot herself would be sure to enjoy, and no reason not to tell her about it in time. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Here we come. Oh, but we, we can't be out of gas. We'll, we'll be late for the train and you'll miss your performance. How much time have we got? Oh, roughly ten minutes. How far are the station? Oh, three to four miles. Any houses or farms around where we can borrow some gas? Well, none in sight. There aren't many on these back roads. How many cars are there? Not much chance of a lift. And how fortunate to have an understudy so re ready, able, and so willing to go on. Oh, the audience will demand a refund, believe me. Thank you. <laughs> Do you want it on? Oh, it doesn't matter. I detest cheap sentiment. <laughs> Karen, hmm. I haven't been very pleasant this weekend. Oh, well, we've all been a little tense lately. Come to think of it, I, I haven't been pleasant for weeks. For that, I'm, I'm truly sorry. More than any two people I know, I, I don't want you and Lloyd to be angry with me. Oh, we're never deeply angry. We just get sore, the way you do. We know you too well. As so many people know me. I wish I did. I wish someone would tell me about me. You're Margot. Just Margot. And what is that? Besides something spelled out in light bulbs, I mean, besides something called a temperament, which consists mostly of my swooping about on a broomstick, screaming at the top of my voice. Infants behave the way I do, you know. They, they carry on and misbehave. They'd, they'd get drunk if they knew how. <laughs> and they can't have what they want when they feel unwanted or insecure or unloved. Well, what about Bill? What about Bill? He's in love with you. More than anything in the world, I love Bill. And I want Bill. And I want Bill to want me. But me, not Margot Channing. And if I can't tell them apart, how can he? Oh, well, why should he? And why should you? Bill's in love with Margot Channing. He's worked with her, fought with her, and loved her. But ten years from now, Margot Channing will have ceased to exist, and what will be left will be what? Margot, Bill is all of eight years younger than you. And those years stretch as the years go on. I've seen it happen too often. Well, not, not to you, not to Bill. Isn't that what they always say? suppose the heater works if the motor doesn't. Mm, silly, isn't it? You'd think they'd fix it so that you could sit in a car and keep warm. About Eve, 
I've acted pretty disgracefully toward her, too. Oh, well. Don't fumble for excuses. Not here now with my hair down. At best, let's say I've been oversensitive to, well, to the fact that she's so young, so feminine, so helpless, to so many things I want to be for Bill. Funny business a woman's career. The things you drop on your way up the ladder so you can move faster. You forget that you'll need them again once you get back to being a woman. That's one career all females have in common, whether we like it or not. Being a woman. Sooner or later, we've got to work at it, no matter how many careers we've had or wanted. And in the last analysis, nothing is any good unless you can look up just before dinner or turn around in bed and there they are. Without that, you're not a woman. You're something with a, a French provincial office or a, a book full of clippings. But you're not a woman. <laughs> Slow curtain. The end. Margot. Margot, I want to tell you how sorry I am about this. About what? This. I, I can't tell you how sorry I am. Ah, don't give it another thought. One of Destiny's merry pranks. After all, you didn't personally drain the gasoline out of the tank. <laughs> <laughs>